we always really appreciate it when the trucker gives us a reasonable estimated time of arrival, especially if it's after business hours, so we're not sitting out here in the middle of the night wondering where the truck is. Uh, once they actually get here, uh, to us it's very important that they, load up, they, un they back up very squarely to the chute uh, so that there's not a V in between the back of the truck door and the loading chute for the animals to get their feet caught in. I want those cattle to go on calmly. Uh, you don't have to take all day to load a truck, but they need to move on at a slow pace. I've never understood why people think they can load a, a crowd and chute and uh, push the one that's five or six ahead in the line on a truck by stressing the one at the back of the line, uh, either with hot shot or prods or yelling or paddles or whatever. Uh, you have to establish flow and allow those cattle to go on the truck easily. Certainly the driver does have to take into consideration that uh, he, you know, he can't cram on the lightweight cattle, he can't cram them on really tight in order to achieve his maximum uh, pay weight. He has to back off a little bit on that and allow these cattle some room to, uh, to be able to uh, move around and, and not, not overheat. Uh, particularly in hot weather, overloading a trailer is, is very detrimental to those calves. Uh, increases stress, increases the chance of death loss, animals getting down on a trailer, breaking a leg or uh, injuring themselves in some form or fashion. Uh, as hauling cows, the same thing.